Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while since I uploaded, and I filmed this back in December. We're now in June. I wanted to make some videos, and going forward this whole week or month, I'm probably going to upload a lot. Just because I had a lot of requests on how to install our flags. And I've been slacking and getting these requests done, so I finally had the time to edit some videos and uh, upload them. The first flag would be the TAQ. Um, this is just an example on um, my Forerunner I'm working on. It's a pre-cut flag that does not require trimming but tucking in to the corners of the vinyl. Uh, we have three options on our website. We have pre-cut, overlay, and then we have a... We're going to come out with an offset pre-cut, meaning that it does fit the window, but it's a little off to the point where it's exactly right there with one with one and a half eighth inch off of the corner so what I'm doing here if you can see um, my advice also is in this video I made a mistake I only use one strip of tape to hold down the vinyl you can see that green tape right there so just in case Use thicker tape and more of it just to hold it down so you it won't move around. Also, if you want to know what this vinyl is, it's airy dimensions. It's easy to install and you can move it around. You can see that I'm pulling it off the window several times and it's not damaging the vinyl. I'm also inside and also it is pretty cold. It, this was filmed back during the winter so you can tell. <laughs> if you see my beanie in the reflection so once you figure out where you once you have it aligned perfectly um, just move it around a couple, a couple times I'm basically using a dry method in this one no water on the window at all I just peel, stick and play it's super easy so squeegee it a couple times Make sure you get all the air bubbles out. You can also lift the vinyl if there's a little crease right there just to make sure that you don't get any damages once you peel out the transfer tape. And then just squeeze it in. All right, so once you have that done, just make sure you get all the corners, especially. This, they do like to have little air bubbles stuck right there. So just peel off the backing paper starting from the top highest corner of the window, slowly, and peel it off to a motion where you're peeling it off and going from one corner to the other side. Don't peel it off directly going down, but corner to corner. So in this section, I did peel it off, but I got that little stripe attached to the transfer tape, which is no biggie. That's the best thing about this vinyl is that it's stretchable, or it can be easily removed and put back without damaging it completely. So I'll fix that, and I'll show you how to fix it. So you can see it's the camouflage print. Um, like I said, every dimensions. I actually ordered this from Metro Sign Warehouse, the vinyl itself, and I cut the design in my shop. So if you're actually looking for this type of vinyl, I'll tag the link below. Just uh, check it out. I have some tape right there I have to remove. So once, like, so like I said, this is a pre-cut flag, but does not require any trimming. You just have to get your squeegee, tuck in the vinyl between the corners of the, the edges of the window going forward to make it look like it's you know it's subtle with the window
and if you can you can hear it popping into the corner so once you have that all done you know just make sure you have all the corners tucked in completely I'm gonna pass forward through this real quickly So that little tiny strip, because it came off and I had to reapply it, it kind of stretched off the window. It was supposed to stop right there at the edge. So it's an easy fix. And also, right, the sum tape didn't come off on the transfer tape. So always make sure that you always get your transfer tape completely off. So you get your squeegee. Uh, you can either use the soft part or the the harder section of the squeegee and just tuck it in between the corner of the edges of the window and uh, voila you have n no more stripe don't pull don't tear just use your squeegee to actually tuck it in and you can see and the same goes for the top edge window. Like I said, guys, I'm going to be making way much more videos going forward. I think the next one will be uh, an American flag, Desert 10 in 3M, and also some uh, zombie response flags. Um, I haven't been really uploading a lot. I'm going to try to make some more uploads constantly for the next several weeks. Um, I understand people have these flags and they want to know how to install them. So hopefully this helps. This is a pre-cut flag with tucking, no trimming. So yeah, there you go. Uh, also, don't forget, like, subscribe. And comment it does help channel it grows it i'm not here all the time but if it shows that you guys are on here i'll make some more videos constantly